on this episode, we are working on simple things. It's, it's a tough cook. Okay, we are working on tough problems. It's 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 a baby. It's a baby. Okay, which is it now? Ah! Hi everybody, this is Christian from Lazy Devs Academy. Welcome to episode 67 of our advanced schmuck tutorial. Today is one of the beasts. it's going to be one of the most difficult things that we ever did. It's quite of a challenge, but we're gonna we're gonna get there. So uh, we're gonna go load, get it, uh, and we're gonna formulate once more what the problem is. We have this little editor, and we have like enemies, and that's good. That's really good. However, there is there is a bit of a problem that those enemies here. Uh, they are not moving, they are just like where they have been spawned, right? Like, I mean, they're scrolling down, that's okay, but I mean, the entire level is scrolling down, right? So you create the enemies and they just like stay where they are and they're not moving. But those enemies have like movement patterns, right? They, they are moving around. There's like a pattern associated with them, but we just don't see it. We don't see it in the preview. And this might cause some problems because we want to maybe have like enemy formations that kind of like you know intersect in cool ways we just want to see you know how this level plays out we want to have like this this we want to see like a, what you see is what you get we want to have a preview of how the level plays out we, like a tape that you rewind back and forth <laughs> maybe you're younger you haven't had a tape so maybe it's like a video that you scrub you know back and forth right um, and that's not what ha what's happening right now. We have like this kind of like weird intermediate step that's not quite the game. It's a little bit the game, like it uses the game assets, it uses the game background, but it's not really what the game will look like. So you have to like imagine how it will play out. It's not good. I would love to see, I would love to see the actual movement on the enemies. And the enemies are controlled by brains, so we want to kind of get the brains into this editor, right? Now the brains are like this code, right? And this code is like just gives commands to how this plays out. And it's difficult to put that in a way that is rewindable. Let's say we have an enemy, right? And we know that the enemy has been on the screen for five seconds. How do you find out where that enemy went in those five seconds? You have to like, maybe for every enemy, you have to run the code from the spawning position for five seconds and then calculate the position where it actually is. And you have to do it for every enemy, and we have quite a lot of enemies on the screen. It's, it's going to be difficult, right? It's it's a tough cook. It's a tough cook. But there is a solution how we can get there without losing our minds. So we have like these special things. For example, you have like this this arrow that shows you how the enemy is flying, right? We have also this. We have the trails, right? We have like this this tool that shows you how the enemy is flying. What if, instead of simulating the brain in the, in the schedule editor, which is really annoying and, and difficult and maybe time intensive and effort intensive, what if we just bring the trails over? We might not need to even show where the enemy is. We're just gonna show like a line that traces out the path that the enemy will follow. That's gonna be a cool first step, maybe. Right? Like, just gonna just gonna save those those trails in, into a file, and then we're gonna import that file to our schedule editor. And then those trails won't make it to the game, but it's gonna be something for us to kind of figure out how the enemy is moving. Also, our game sometimes crashes. <laughs> Uh, what happened there? I, uh, I don't see. I think there's a fire. Yeah, there's a fire zero there. Oh no! <laughs> How do we get to that? Uh, you know what? Let's let's make it so that. <laughs> no. Uh... Oh no! Oh no! Where is Padme? <laughs> uh, if okay, we're gonna go look. Like, if if far one equals zero, then far one equals one. Where is Padme? Oh 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's change all the firing patterns here to one. Oh, <laughs> this looks so good though. This looks so good, right? Uh, that doesn't fire anything. Yeah, this, this guy fires a lot. Uh, yeah, he doesn't fire here. Okay, let's export this for now. Um, yeah, we might want to do like, um, yeah, let, let's do like, let's do like um, a robustness check here. Um, uh, ah, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was shift S. <laughs> I don't know. Um, not just like a par equals one. If um, par is smaller than one, or par is greater than uh, hashtag pets. Is it is it pets? It's pets, right? Should be pets. Pets, yeah. Okay. Um. So if the par is outside of par one, uh, then then we're gonna do nothing. No, actually, no. Let's just set it to one. Let's just reset it to one. It's fine. It's fine. So we can just copy this part out if we copy, ever copy it back. Uh, I just want to... Yeah, it's good. It's good. So now when we... Oh, no. Things are falling apart, man. Things are falling apart. <laughs> we need to watch out. <laughs> the tutorial is getting unstable. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so now I just like, give me like, give me like a firing thirteen, a hundred thirty four. Yeah, yeah. See now we're outside of the loop, but it's okay because uh, outside of the available patterns, but it's okay because we are um, we have like this robustness check. Just making sure that if you you know mess around with the patterns, that the the level level editor won't crash. Good. Let me let me chart out a path. First, I want to save the trades to a file. Then I want to load the trails in brain edit. I want to load them in here and not just save them to file, but I actually want to, you know, the brain editor to remember them so I can see if the trails are loaded correctly. And then I want to load trails in um, Skedit. And then I'm gonna show trails in Skedit. Right? Do, 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 do. Cool, 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 cool. So let's do the save trails. Um, mm -mm. Let me see. I've, I haven't... Curl trails is the current trails. Okay, so we only have curl trails and, and, and new trails, right? Yeah. This is the currently available trails. And uh, new trails are the trails that are being recorded, right? So what I actually want to do is I want to have trails. I want to have just a library of trails. And the idea here is that this is going to be a library of trails and each brain will have its own corresponding like a recording of trails. And then later on, we're going to export this entire array of trails, this library of trails into a text file. Uh, now let me get the, all those curl trails because right now there's just like really two sets of trails that we have. We have like one set of trails that we're recording and one set of trails that we are showing on the screen. But now I want to take this, this, this trails that we're showing on the screen, take this and save it into a library of trails, right? Um, so let me, let me show you where we're doing curl trails. Okay, so here we are showing the trails. If nlib, selmet one, if it's not, not il nil. Okay, I, th I think here's where we, yeah, here's where we're resetting the enemy, right? Cur trails equals new trails. Let me see what else happens. Yeah, cur trails zero. Yeah, this is going, going left and right. Oh yeah, so this has been executed. I think there's like two versions of this even. Yeah, um, this stuff, is being executed when um, there is no more enemies on the screen. Then respawning a new enemy, reset n. That's is, that's that's what what is happening, and then we are saving the trails to um, 
like new trails is being written to the, the, the current trails. Um, yeah, so now I, <clears throat> I what I want to do is I want to be like trails, square brackets, trails, square brackets, um, the selected enemy, cell brain, or select brain, equals new trails, like this. Uh, do our new trails being somehow, do we some somewhere reset the new trails? Yeah, and then the reset n, we're resetting the, the new trails, cool. So if we uh, the enemy has left the screen, we are writing the trails into our trail data database. And yeah, and then we can just get the current trails from, from this, right? Now here, we're going left and right. I want to grab trails from the cell, cell brain, but mm, there's a bit of a problem that sometimes the trails will be empty. So we're going to go if trails cell brain, or no, cur trails equals trails cell brain, or empty. That's good. That's good. Let's try this. Let me show the trails. So now we have the trails here. We're going to go out. This should have reset the trails, but it didn't. Ah, I think because we're immediately resetting this stuff. Yeah, we're immediately resetting the stuff. Yeah, because this, this is being executed immediately. And that means the old, mm, mm, we have to we have to really watch out here. Yeah, so here we are um, getting the trails from the database, but then this stuff is immediately executed because the enemies are being cleared. And then we, yeah, huh. we're gonna say new trails equals, equals card trails. This is a bit of a hack. But but check this out. So let me show the trails, and then I'll go and go here. And then if I go, you can see that how it remembers the trails. That's what we wanted. Now it doesn't have the trails here, but now we can see the trails. See? And now we can see that when we're switching to the enemies, we're switching, we're already getting the trails, which means the trails are being saved in the database. Now, with a situation like this, we only remembering the trails of the first enemy that we spawned, which is fine. <laughs> this this one will always have a different trail depending on where my my thing is. Like so, the, sometimes the enemy previews are not going. They're not going to be perfect. Those enemy previews, right? This is also a bit of a problem where here the trail is so long that we actually never recording it. So we need to have a we definitely need to have a cutoff point for each one of those. So at some point we have to say like okay, after we recorded a certain amount of trails for let's say five seconds. Then we're going to stop the trail recording because it will just create like a huge amount of trails. So this is actually something that, that I want to also add. Um, so let's let's do this after we did this cut off for trails. Just like little little reminder that we need a, a cut off there. But broadly speaking, I think this is this is working. Now there is one more thing that I want to change about the way we're doing the trails. Right now we're just saving the position. We're just saving the position of the enemy to the to the. We're just writing the position of the enemy. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're just writing the x and y position of the enemy to the trails. Easy. That's not what we quite what we want. We want to write. Because you have to remember, later on um, we're going to have it in a, maybe in a schedule editor, and those enemies will be spawning all over the screen, will be spawning in different positions. Um, we want to have uh, remember the position of the enemy relative to its spawning location. So then we can reposition the trail depending on how the spawning location changes in the in the uh, schedule editor. So what we need to do here is we need to subtract. The spawning location of the current enemy. So, um, by the way, um, I just want to make, make sure that the setup function is not causing. Yeah, let's let's just let's just copy this one out because this setup function this will this will cause us so much problems. This will cause so much problems. Yeah, yeah. So, cell meta one and two is where the spawning things. Um, 
I think so matter one is the enemy that we're spawning and two and three are the X and Y coordinates. Okay, so let's do new trails. New trails, new trails. New tra new tra new tra there. So let's go um, protect X minus Salamanta two and minus three. Let's, let's look at this. Oh, we don't have the cell meta. Uh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Do we have a local cell meta equals meta uh, cell brain? Now what we uh, see, you see the trails are now on the side of the screen. That's because the, the trails are now being drawn like they're not being drawn correctly. So we want to also get this out here. Uh, and then we're gonna go plus. Now we have to, because we subtracted the spawning location, we need to add it back in when we're drawing the trails. Uh, because that's what later what we're also gonna do in the, in the schedule editor. And it just works. Easy. Baby. It's 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 a baby. It's a baby. Now I want to act also add a one little detail that I kind of like. And that is I want to in the UI actually, um I want to I remember there's like a main UI. <laughs> the cursed main UI. I want to actually show in the in, in the corner how many entries we have for that. Uh, trail entries we have we have for that brain so we we know what's happening so um, let's do uh ui this is so cursed this is so cursed uh refresh brain for the refresh brain okay so here i want to add i want to sh i want to show Turtles, Tur turtles. Let's go turtles, um, and then go. Um, I'm not sure where what, what I'm gonna write. Um, let me position this first on the screen, and then we're gonna figure out. Let's go a zero, zero, zero like this. Uh, with I don't care one, two, three. I do care, and then command is not gonna be anything. Uh, we're gonna put it on the top of the uh, on the top of the screen. I want to put it on the top of the screen. Three hundred twenty. Let's 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 go with that. And the color is gonna be let's go with like green. So it's we know that this is not gets up there. Let's go like this. And let's go like this. Let's go like this. Nope. Let's go like this. Yes, this is good. Uh, but it's not the right color. Why is it white? Oh, I see. <laughs> Somehow. The... <laughs> Why don't just draw it on the screen? <laughs> Why don't make it so complicated? Okay. Um, for now, I want to add trails. Cell brain. Hashtag. So now this will cause some bugs because sometimes we just don't have any trails saved. So we're gonna go, um, um, if this exists, then we're gonna draw it. So we're gonna do a ternary here, right? So uh, this and, so if the trails exist, then we draw the number of trails or, no. Does that work? Can we do this? Yeah. See, now you can see how many trails we have. And please, can we not... <laughs> Menu I, come on, man. Come on. Uh, we never gonna... Yeah, this is, this is not interesting for us. Okay. And also maybe I only want to show it if we if we're actually drawing the trails on the screen. I'm actually not interested in this, we're not drawing the trails. So, um, where is it? Show trails. So, 
this will not be visible usually. Um, if show trails then. Okay, so this gives us a little bit of a um, insight into what is happening behind the scenes, right? So if we have the trails here, you can see how it's um, switched from 0 to 31. So the, our database was updated. We don't have any trails now. Obviously, we don't see any. Now we see them, right? So now what I want to do is I want to save those trails to a file on our, our system. So when I load the game, I will already start with some trails written down here, okay? And we just do it the same way, the same way we do it, uh, we do saving. We're gonna, it's gonna be part of the I.O. So this, the way, for example, we're saving the metadata, the same way we're gonna add, um, we're gonna save the trails. I'm gonna go trails, split to D, that's okay. Then we're gonna go to trails, do. Um, through the number of trails. Actually, we don't want to go, we're going to go through the number of data, actually. Uh, we're going to see why in a second. So this is this is for writing stuff. Now, we're going to go if trails square brackets i if that's nil, so if there's no trails for this, then and otherwise you write you, you you print out the trails but if there is no trails if there is no trails then i want to go s dot dot equals i want to add just an empty array to this uh, which is just going to be um let's just do a zero zero here we might not need to do that yeah, let's just do it like this. If, if trails is not equals nil, then we're gonna go through because the, this uh, if trails is nil, this this if statement might cause some troubles. So I just like gonna encapsulate this into this. So if it's not nil, then we're gonna go through the loop and actually write the trail into the file. But if the trails are if the trails are nil, then we're just gonna do like an empty empty entry there. Now for J, so this is where we're now going through a trail. And this is a little bit difficult now because the thing is the trails consist of tiny little two entry arrays, right? So it's like a three-dimensional array, not a two-dimensional array, it's a three-dimensional array. So we have the list of trails, each trail has a bunch of positions, and each position is a tiny little array, it's a two-entry array. And that won't work with the way we set up here stuff. Okay, so we need to create a three-dimensional array, which is fine, which is fine. Um, so, by the way, this is not supposed to be meta, this is supposed to be trails. Um, so we're going to go s dot dot trails square bracket one dot dot and then we're going to use some sign, we're going to, let's say a colon and then we're going to get the second entry of the trail. True. Right? So this is how we are writing the trails to the file. Uh, it's gonna be three-dimensional array. Reading it out will be a bit difficult, but again, that's not something that we have to do in a game. That's only something for the editors. And then that is gonna be it. Now, what is the file M? Ah, oh, yeah, this is the file meta, right? So now we have to figure out a new file to write this out. Uh, what is the name of the meta file and all, all this stuff? We call it Schmup's Brains and Schmup's Brains Meta. Let's call it Schmup's Brains Trails. Schmup's brains trails. We're just gonna hard code this. And yeah, and that's it. That's gonna be that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Okay, so let us let us run this. I want to export. Actually, let me let me show let me show me the, the, the trails. Okay, so export. So this should export the trails of the, our first enemy and then whole bunch of NP trails. Okay, so let's see if this worked. Right, so do we have to see the trails? Here's meta. No, here's trails. It's just not txt, it's p8l, and we have to we have to put a txt at it. But let's see if uh, what it look this looks like. Yep, it wrote a whole bunch of stuff in there. 
cool, 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 cool. And you can see that now we have a whole bunch of, can, I, I will zoom in a little bit. You can see how at the end we have a whole bunch of, of um, pipe characters. That is just like all the end trails that we don't have, which, which is good, which is good, which is okay. Cool. Let us now close this and I'm going to fix this part. Let me delete the old file. Uh, I want to fix this file. I want to actually make this a text file. A I O. Oh, there we go. Trails.txt. Okay. Let's run this again. Let's export this. Okay. Export. Okay. So this has been exported now. Now I want to... In we, we, we are saving the trails. Now we want to load the trails in the brain edit. Trails. Right, we're loading the trails. Um, by the way, here we have um, the, the brains and the meta file are kind of flexible. We can change what the, what the file is. And I'm making this flexible because um, I'm setting this up for to be a, like a template for maybe other editors. The trails are kind of like this custom thing, so I'm not making it, you know, I'm not using this file M system. I'm not making these into variables. And it's, this is just hard coded stuff. Okay, so now we're importing the trails, but the problem is like the trails that we imported is, um, we have to process the trails that we imported. Um, because, we, by the way, we have to delete those trails here. Uh, we need to process the trails because there are, um, we said like it's a three dimensional array. So all of the entries in the trails are actually two entries. So we need to separate them. Um, so let's go for it real quick. Where are we doing? Where is the, let's just do it for here. Um, let's call this process trails. For t in all trails do. And then we're gonna go for um, p in all t do. Um, so we're going through all of the trails and inside each trail um, we're going to go through all of the entries and we're going to go, if I said p to something else, I don't think that will actually update the entry. I don't think that that's how it works. Um, so we need to do like a for next loop, for, for, for an all loop. So for i equals 0 in 0 to hashtag trails. I'm gonna go um, t local t my t equals uh, trails square brackets i, and I'm gonna go for mm, one to hashtag my t my t two. Yeah, we need to do. I think uh, we could we could do like a for. Uh, we could do, could do like a pairs loop here, but I, I'm just like, whatever. For j equals, um, okay, so now we can do this. So, so it's like trails, tra tra trails, square brackets, i, square brackets, j, equals this, or, or actually my t mighty j equals so now we're editing the entry in this in this trail this should be a position but now it's a string of two values and we just split that string into two separate values so we, it's going to be uh, this and the first entry is going to be no actually we can just do like a split here right split uh, mighty j like this. I think this should be enough. That's what I'm thinking. This should this should be the, the, the trail processing. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. It didn't work. I, we don't, didn't see the trails. No, we don't, we don't see the trails. Whoa. Now this is causing some problems. Show trails. 
what? We don't we don't even have to show trails? What? Um, not quite sure what's happening. Let's, let's do like a debug in here. I just want to see how many trails we have. Uh, debug. Debug. Square brackets one. I want to see what we loaded actually. Equals hashtag uh, trails. I just want to see what, what we have. We have nine trails. So we have things here. Okay. So how about you show me how many entries we have in our first trail? I just want to see. I just want to see. We have 31 entries in our first trail. There is stuff in our our, our, our first trail. And is is the entry one one? Is that a, a yes, that's an array. Okay, so we are saving this stuff into uh let me Maybe this is just a problem that the, that I mean, at the beginning when we were launching the game, the curve trails is an empty array. So let me go like trails, um, hashtag one. No. Now it's... <sighs> Why? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, good, this works. Um, yeah, I mean, we can just keep it keep it around. It's fine. Now, if I continue, now we get some some problems, and I think the problem here is that there is some funky stuff in the second entry of of curve trails. Let me see, um, uh, like in the second entry, like this this process trails, and this causes some uh, broken entries in the subsequent. Like when we exporting an empty trail, I think it doesn't doesn't like that. Let me let me look um, real quick what that looks like. Debug. Square bracket uh, two. Uh, no no debug one equals trails. Um, I want to see the second entry of trails. Let me let me see what how that looks like. There is one entry in that second entry. Oh oh that's that's not good. So we have a trail in the second. Ooh. Yikes! And what that? What does that look like? Oh, there is. I think there's just like an empty thing there. I think there's like an empty thing there. How? How about we just like print it? What? What does it? it it's a table. And what does the table look like? How many entries does this table have? There's one entry. Okay, okay. Okay, so what we can do here is something like if my, um, if we're not getting two values out of this split operation, because I think if the if there's some uh, trails here with that has just like an empty, just like an empty entry there, and we're splitting that empty entry, and that just creates like a empty string, one single empty string in those in those position. It should be like two values, x and y. But because it's empty, it just creates like an empty, one empty en entry there. And if that's happened, so if like um, my tj, if the number of entries here, if that's less than two, or if that's not just not equal to, because we want to have two entries there, then uh, we're gonna reset that to just like, zero zero like this we're just gonna create like an empty entry there like a zero zero entry here so this is good yeah okay so now we have like all everywhere we have like this zero entry but that's okay that's 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 perfectly fine to have like a one zero entry okay i'm gonna export this i'm gonna run this and we should see now all of these things have been saved. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool, huh? I'm gonna save actually all of this stuff. Now this will probably never get saved. So we have to, this is gonna be the cutout thing. So we have to think about this a little bit. Now this episode is getting a little bit long, so in fact, let me let me. So we are loading the trails. This is good. Uh, let us do the cut off, 
and the next episode, episode is going to be showing the trails in schedule editor. Okay, so let me do the cut off. Let me do the cut off. Um, new trails. Let me let me look at new trails. Uh, where are we writing stuff to the new trails here? Um, so if this is happening, I want to add a new entry in the new trails only. Uh, this will like a new if statement. If t is smaller than some kind of cutoff point, let's make the cutoff point to thirty for now. Then uh, we're gonna do this. Uh, let this let's always get the cell meta. Oops. Um, Otherwise, uh, what I want to do is trails, square brackets, cell brain equals new trails. The idea is that if we are uh, if we're past due <laughs> on the on the like if we're just like creating a huge trail, then at some point in, in thirty frames in this case. Uh, after 30 frames, we just write whatever we already gathered in, tr in terms of trails. We just write that into our trail library. And then we're not getting adding any more points to the trail library because we're going to have a, like, a huge library at some point. This will cause overflows, especially for uh, uh, boss enemies that always go in a loop, right? Like we don't, we don't want to have that. So um, I want to see how that work will work out. So this should get us a, like a... Yeah, see how after 30 frames... It, it wrote the results already in there and it stopped doing doing any kind of funky stuff anymore, right? Uh, and actually, cur trails equals trails, new trails. Hmm. Yeah, just like show, I think that's okay, that's okay. So again, we look, um, I want to run this. Uh, it's a little bit too fast, but yeah, you can see here after 30 seconds, it reset the trail to do the cutoff value, right? Immediately. Okay, 30 frames on 30, 30 seconds. Now we need to find out a good value, uh, something like, I don't know, how much how much time is, is, is good time, maybe 300? Let me see how 300 looks like. Let me see at which point we're going to see the trail. Okay, maybe maybe a little more. Let's go to six hundred. Six hundred felt a little bit long. Uh, let's meet in the middle. Four hundred fifty. Okay, so this is our boss enemy. Now I want to actually make sure that there's one entry like this. One entry has only one trail entry and that's okay. I want to um, make sure that our uh, schedule editor is robust enough to deal with zero entry kind of situations. Why did this trail have zero? I, that was weird. It shouldn't have had the zero. Okay, let's export this. Let's run this. Okay, so now we see each enemy has its trails exported. Good. Next quest is to get those trails to show up in our schedule editor, but that's something that comes up on the next episode and in the doggy zone. That's right, the doggy zone. A really predictable next step for the doggy zone is going to be do, um, loading those, those trails in the schedule editor, showing the trails in the schedule editor. And we did the cutoff already. And Additional challenge, what if instead of showing the trails, you actually show the enemy, like the actual enemy sprite, on the positions where it's supposed to go. Like you recreate the animation of the enemy based on the trails. Huge challenge for the doggy zone in a preview of the things to come. But for now, I'm going to say a big thank you and a huge shout out again once more to all the people who are supporting the show on Coffee Home, making this nonsense possible. Thank you so much, guys. This is, this is really great.
And also I wanted to read out a comment. This is from Mr. Slide of Hand on episode 48. Um, they wrote um, regarding uh, the use of not. An easy way to remember is that not is to Boolean values what the erring honorary minus is to numbers. So it's obvious that da -da 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 -da, same thing for Booleans. Da -da -da -da. Um, Yes, great, super nice. That's good. I'm, I'm liking this. This is this actually helps me a lot. So uh, unary minus, unary <laughs> minus, is the thing that if you have like a minus number, right? Like so, minus one. Um, that minus is is not a, not necessarily like a operation, like one minus two, right? That's an operation. But minus one is kind of like it's attached to the one, right? It's just showing you that this is a negative number. That's that's the honorary minus. Um, so, because it's kind of like a shortcut to zero minus one, right? Like just like leave out the zero and just like write minus one. That's good. That's good to know. I That will help me along. But I will say that I also find the honorary really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> because like in in I feel like correct me if I'm wrong but I think the programming languages don't differentiate between honorary minuses and operational minuses so like they just add the zero at the beginning when there's no no value before of that but otherwise like it's and then you get like into this order of operations problems once you start moving things around with a minus because the minus is actually a little bit dependent on the order of things like from left to right uh, minuses are also a pain in, in, in the butt for me. It's, it's the bane of my existence. So you kind of like replace one thing that I'm not sure about into another thing that I'm not sure about. <laughs> but I, I have to say I'm less confused by the honorary minus than I'm confused by the not. So this does help me along. Thank you so much, Mr. Slide of Hand. Yes, yes, yes. So we are about to, to make something happen that was causing a huge amount of stomach and head pain but that's something that comes up in the next episode see you next time around guys bye bye